Hi there Retro Gamers! Now you might remember a while back I made a video about Modern Sonic and in particular some of the problems with Modern Sonic games. We all had a laugh, chatted a bit, things were good, but it got me thinking. How would I go about fixing Sonic? Now, full disclosure, I'm not a programmer or a games designer or an artist of any kind. Really, I'm just someone who got pretty drunk and managed to make somebody at Geek and Sundry laugh. I'm just a bit lucky, alright? But, I do have some ideas. Christian Donlan said the following in his review of Super Mario 3D World for the Wii U. The best theory I've ever heard regarding the mysterious way that Mario games get made runs like this. Deep inside Nintendo's development structure, there are people working on Mario stuff all the time, irrespective of specific games. They're just toiling away in the Mario mines, churning out endless ideas for anything and everything. Bosses, enemies, collectibles, traversal gimmicks, ghost house, hallways, the works. Why do I mention this? Because I genuinely believe that the one thing the Sonic series needs to reinvent itself is time and space. Time to experiment, to play with ideas, to test things out, play games of other genres, take influence from other mediums like films or books. Now, my last Sonic video focused on Sonic Unleashed and had a bit of a chat on Twitter. People did point out that games released since Sonic Unleashed have been improvements. Now, that's a fair point. Trouble is, being better than Sonic Unleashed doesn't take much. Even if subsequent games have improved on Sonic Unleashed, it's just improvements, just refinements. The games are still based on a formula, and that formula is broken. The last big change to the formula was actually Sonic Unleashed, which added sections from the classic 2D perspective. The trouble is, the game is still heavily based on the 3D template of Sonic Adventure, and that template doesn't work. For the most part, it just produces bad fucking games. To make Sonic relevant again, the entire series needs to be reinvented from the ground up. And that kind of reinvention takes time. By the way, when I say relevant, I mean standing side by side with the Mario games as commercial and critical equals. This kind of reinvention would mean generating countless ideas, most of which wouldn't actually work. In fact, most of them would be total shit. But it's all part of a process towards finding small ideas that work and building upon them. It would mean running the risk of not having frequent Sonic games come out to you know keep the brand alive, but at this point, I'd argue that modern Sonic games do more damage to the Sonic brand than anything else. There needs to be a new way to make Sonic games, and we need the time to find it. In other news, I'm heading to Norway to participate in The Gathering, a massive, big, fuck-off LAN party. I'll be heading there as part of a crew from Geek and Sundry, including Amy Dallin and Sachi. So, if you see us, come say hi. So, please, go check out Amy, go check out Sachi, and please go check out The Gathering. Links are in the description. Also, do me a favour, hit like, hit subscribe, tell your friends, all the rest of that shit. That's all for this time, there'll be a new old school pixel party coming out next Thursday, and uh, see yous!